This is high school basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. And welcome back to Goodno Gymnasium as we get set for the boys' all-star game. West versus the East again. It's it's roughly along the lines of the Connecticut River with uh, with slight variations. When they first started doing the All-Star Game, it used to be Hampshire County versus Franklin County, but obviously with the bigger schools down south as opposed to up north, uh, we had some games that weren't as competitive as they could be, so then they uh, kind of mixed it up. And let's send it to the public address announcer for game number two, Mike Churchill. All-Star Games. Tonight's game featured players from 20 high schools in Franklin and Hampshire County. All proceeds from tonight's game will go to the Casey Scholarship Fund over the last 35 years. The Casey Scholarship Fund has provided $84,000 in scholarships for area seniors. Tonight, the visiting East team from Ant School, number three, Will Buddington, Number two, Dijon Joyner, and number 22, Mikel Murray. From Franklin Tech, number 21, Colin Gould. From Granby, number 11, Noah Bleakley, and number 20, Zach Gorham. From Hopkins, number 15, Samir Rowe. From Marhar, number 42, Bryce Cleveland, and number 25, Gabe Olari. From South Hadley High School, number 13, Nate Poirier. Also selected and not in attendance tonight, number 5, Matt Grochowalski. From Turner's Falls, number 11, Dion Brown. And from Ware High School, number 10, Ivan Adams, and number 55, Fernando Montalban. The coaches for the visiting East squad, Jim Matusko from Amherst and Matt Llewellyn from Franklin Tech. Now for the designated home team, the West, from East Hampton High School, number 11, Johnny Barra. Also selected but not in attendance tonight, number 10, Zach Crisofoli. From the home school, Frontier Regional, number 3, Ben Lowe. From Gateway Regional, number double zero, Shane Mastello. From Greenfield High School, number 10, Connor Joy, and number 33, Kevin Mendez. From Hampshire Regional, number 33, Matthew Babiak. Number 34, Jacob Beeler, and number 21, Greg LaRoche. Bullock Trail Regional, number 33, Torsten Sloan Anderson. Selected from Northampton, but not in attendance tonight, number 21, Elijah Davis. From Pioneer Valley Regional, number four, Tucker Llewellyn, and number 23, Tyler Martin. From Smith Academy, number three, Jack Hessian. And from Smith Vocational, number 11, Drew Bida. The coaches for the East uh, West are Ben Barshevsky from Frontier and Scott Thayer from Pioneer. Your officials for this evening's game, Jeremy Thomas, Matt Diaz, and Don Hodgkins. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd ask you all to rise and remove your caps for the singing of the national anthem, performed once again, Kevin Hollister. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last leaving, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glared the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say 
All right, and with that, Kevin Hollister's singing of the National Anthem. We're just about set to go with the boys' all-star game. And, Chris, historically what we've noted is the first few minutes can sometimes be a little ragged. There's kind of pressure to put on a show. A lot of times the guys are doing things that uh, maybe not quite capable of doing, but then they settle in. Yeah, and that's pretty consistent. But you're also talking about kids who haven't played together. And, you know, you're not going to know automatically like you would with the starting five on your own team where everybody's going to be, but these are all talented kids. They know the game, and uh, and Tion and Samiro are coming out on that first unit together for the East. So this will be very interesting to see how they play together. And on the west side, the designated home team, you've got Ben Lowe, of course, from Frontier. He's going to start out there. And he's out there with a couple of Greenfield guys, Joy and Mendez, and a couple of Pioneer guys, Llewellyn and Martin. All right, we are underway. And it's the East with the ball attacking the basket on our left. Tion Brown to Turner's Falls High. They get it left side. Three ball is up and no good. Rebound taken down by Tyler Martin. Gets it up to Llewellyn. Right corner. Ben Lowe from Frontier hit the side of the backboard with that three. Kevin Mendez is going to jack a three. Back rim no. Rebound taken down. Coming all the way through. Murray <laughs> off the window. No good. An explosive player. Took it right to the hole but had it tipped away. They get it down low to Kevin Mendez. Reverse lane is good. And the West takes a quick 2-0 lead. Back quickly comes Murray. Oh. Jams it home with a tomahawk. <laughs> we're oh, not, that didn't take long. We're not used to seeing that. That it, escalated quickly. In the, <laughs> in the Hampshire League, we're not used to seeing too much of that. Ben Lowe comes into the paint. Finger roll. In and out, no good. Samir Rowe takes down the rebound. Up ahead, left side, Tion Brown fakes oh. the three. Ooh, he wanted that three. Tion to the foul line. Open. He'll take the jumper and no good. Murray skies for the rebound. <laughs> puts it up and in. Uh, you think he plays above the rim some, uh, much? <laughs> Jeez Louise. He basically gets his mail delivered above the rim, I think. Nice dish down low. Mendez up a nice feed from Tyler Martin. Yeah, that was a great throw. The needle pass by Ty Martin. And we're tied at four. This is going to be a show, folks. This is going to be a show. Mark my words. Murray. Passes on the right side. It goes to Rowe. Left side. Tricky dribbles. Hands back. Buddington from Amherst. He'll take a three. Short. Connor Joy the rebound. He's from Greenfield High School. Left of the lane. Back to Tyler Martin. Nice dish down low again to Mendez. Off the glass and in. All six points for Kevin Mendez in this first quarter. Off to a good start. 6-4 in favor of the West. Here comes Murray. A little finger roll. Goes right by Mendez and hits. And we're tied at six. Well, so much for my pregame analysis. Yeah, you know, they usually get off to a slow start. They do things they can't do. Tucker Llewellyn got hacked on the arm as he came through left of the lane. And he'll go to the line for a couple of freebies here. That's going to be on Tion, his first team's first. And, no, they're going to say it was on the floor. So, not hacked in yeah, the act. It looked like he was fouled but long before he went to the basket. Tion's guarding Tucker Llewellyn. That is a size mismatch. Uh, mismatch. That's 6-2 against 5-6. Coming through low. Stripped on the way up out of bounds. It'll stay with the West. In a 6-6 tie. 17-41 to play in the first half. Tyler Martin. Will inbound on the baseline. Gets it in to Tucker Llewellyn, his teammate from Pioneer. Tucker going right baseline off the glass. A little bit short. Put back by Lowe is good. Ben Lowe at the follow. Nicely done on his home floor. And Ben obviously got the biggest hand as he was introduced pregame, playing on his home court. So there's that sense of comfort there. Tion Brown top of the key for the East. They trail by two. Tion comes back and puts it up on the right side. His runner is no good. Here comes Mendez running the floor. Kevin all the way through, lost it, tried to save it on the baseline and couldn't do so. A little too much. Mendez was thinking coast to coast and his hand had a different idea. 8-6 in favor of the West. East now back on the attack. Tricky dribbling through the paint, putting it up off the glass, banking it in. Nicely done there by Joyner from Amherst Regional. The Hurricane banks it in. We're tied at eight. Three minutes in, so a nice high-scoring game. I want to see triple digits both sides. Connor Joy got blocked in the way up. Buddington up ahead of the field, tried to save it on the baseline, threw it over to Martin. Tyler Martin up ahead to Joy, two on two break. Connor coming all the way back, high off the glass, no good. And now back the other way. They're going to set up alley -oop to Murray, ah. too high. They tried to put it up off the glass. His teammate Buddington from Amherst, they couldn't quite make the connection. Loose ball poked around. 
Goes on the right side, Connor Joy, got it back to low. Ben goes up strong, no good. Rebound to Rowe, long pass to Murray. Goes right past Llewellyn, high above the rim and lays it in. Didn't go for the slam, but got up just as high. 10-8, the pace of the game, I love this. That Murray kid is unbelievable. <laughs> he's, uh, he's got some hops, I will say. Connor Joy on the right side, gets it over to T. Martin. Left side it goes, three ball by Llewellyn, no good. Lowe gets the rebound, reverse lay-in, and unable to get it past Murray. No good. We're gonna have our first radio timeout, and uh, attempted reverse lay-in by Tion Brown was no good. Connor Joy up ahead to Lowellen. Tucker to the line, to the lane. Shuffle pass, right side to Mendez. Back to Joy. Here's Lowellen in the lane. Goes past, can't, it gets it past Murray. A held ball in the rebound. And a timeout on the floor. 15-41 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is 10-8 in favor of the West. All right, play back on now. The West with the ball trailing by two. And Torsten Sloan Anderson from Mohawk is out there playing his final high school basketball game. All these guys are, but Torsten, of course, a great pitcher on the Warriors oh. baseball team. And a three-point bomb, Mastello drains it. And an 11-10 lead now for the West. The East. pride of Gateway Regional. Coming back, pull-up jumper in the lane. By Breida was no good. And coming back quickly now is Barra. Has it on the right side of the paint. Jump pass, Sloan Anderson. Foul line left, knocks down the jumper. 13-10 now in favor of the West. So a quick 4-0 run for them. Has them the lead back. 5-0 uh, run, rather, because they had that three ball. Gorham from Granby. Gets it over. Here is Colin Gould from Franklin County Tech. Misses from the left side. West looking to run again. 14.30 to play in the first half. It is 13 to 10. Fadeaway J from the left side is up and no good. Mostello not able to hit that one. And coming back quickly, they get it over to Colin Gould. Top of the key and the jumper. No good by Josh Gorham. Mostello the rebound. So play now is slowed up just a little bit in terms of the scoring. Bass is tipped over, it comes down. Back quickly comes Olari of Mahar. Feeds it over on the right side. Gorham can't get the put back though. It's tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the west. That's gonna go to the east, I should say. It will inbound on the baseline. They get it into Colin Gould. Thousand point score from the Tech School. Fade away, Jay for three. Left corner is good. And obliquely with that one, we're tied at 13. Deep in the left corner. They hold it there. They go back top of the key. Ooh. And a three-point bomb put up an air ball goes out of bounds. Not the shot they wanted right there. <laughs> that did not. Probably not. not. That was uh, Beeler coming back. Colin Gould got blocked down low, but a foul is going to get ticketed to Mastello. Shane from Gateway at 6-4. And Gould will be now shooting two. Franklin County's leading score in 2016-2017. Was that surprising to you? I mean, we didn't hear much about Franklin Tech this year. No, and he, of course, he had an injury situation last year, and he came out and made up for lost time for sure. Makes the first free throw. Franklin Tech made the tournament, but they were one and done. Second freebie, good for Colin. We had a tough first round. I mean, they had to go on the road, and it's never easy to do. No, no. 15-13, West leading by two. Ball tipped out of bounds, right back to the east. I think Barra threw that one to me. <laughs> I'm not even playing. 15-13 in favor of the east, and they have the ball. They get it in to Alari is, uh, yeah, Bryce Cleveland hasn't had a touch yet. We know what he can do down low. Has it now, and that's what he can do. Hits yep. from the right side. Had a big year for a very good Senator basketball team. Oh. And a big block by Gorham. Yeah, Jack Hessian just got served. 
Olari down low to Cleveland, who hits again, counted and one. Bryce Cleveland yeah. has announced his presence with authority. Well, that's where Bryce Cleveland lives, right on that baseline. He's very tough to stop once he gets a clean ball to him, and that time yeah. he was tough to stop, and he drew the foul. Well, but it's not only that he's uh, big and bulky, but he's very agile, too. It's he's a, it's agile, and he has good, good instincts. I mean, he... One of those guys who just knows where to be at the right time. Free throw, however, was no good. Jack Hessian from Smith Academy has it. Gets it to Mastello. They go down low. Little hook pass back. They're on the left side. Shuffle pass back to Sloan Anderson. Line drive. Jay is good. That broke a long run. Yeah, that was almost from behind the backboard, that one. 15, 19-15 uh, in favor of the East. Coming through. Gorham. The leaner. No good. Ooh. Rebound is picked off by Olari all the way through, banks at home. Yeah, almost too fast for their own good that time. Nice play there by Gabe. 21-15 in favor of the East. They lead by six, 12 and a half to play. Barra for three, back rim no. Castello had the rebound, had it stolen right away though. Coming back is Colin Gould, <laughs> high above the rim. No good, tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the East. Uh, Gould went way up for that shot. He did. I'm amazed it didn't fall. He was two inches above the guy who was defending him. The inbound to Gorham, open on the right side, misses the bunny though, and he's getting a little frustrated. He had a good look right there. Mara comes back now for the West All-Stars. Top of the key, <laughs> behind the back pass, Sloan Anderson. He'll fake the three, he'll drive in on Cleveland. Little scoop shot, yes, that Torsten's works. had a good night. He has, and he's not wearing that knee brace either. Timeout on the court, 12 minutes to play first half. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's the East 21, the West 15. Play back on now, and a steal by Llewellyn on an inbounds play. Can't finish the shot, though, but they do maintain possession. Babiak has it. It's over to Tucker Llewellyn. In the left corner, a rainbow three by the Hampshire player. Misses badly, very short, 21-17. And the East now back on the attack with the lead. Three-point bomb put up on the right side, no good. Knocked away from Murray out of bounds. The East will keep it. And inbounding. On the baseline is going to be Ivan Adams of Ware. Gets it into Rowe. Rowe gets a screen. Unable to do anything with it. That's uh, Fernando Maltabano set the screen. Rowe for three. It's good. So I'm glad we get to see him play one more time. Uh, a lot of speculation what happens to him next year. A lot of people think he'll do a prep year and then play somewhere collegiately. Oh, looking to throw it down. <laughs> Beeler got the bucket. But he wanted the jam at home, and he ended up just kind of falling through. But nice job there by Bueller. Three-point bomb right side is good. Rowe drains the tray again. 27-19 now, an eight-point lead for the East All-Stars. Tucker Llewellyn, pull-up pop left side, good. Oh, both these teams are starting to get hot. Well, we're about the quarter point of this game. It's a 40 minute game. Murray driving through the lane, couldn't get it to finish. He was looking for a foul call, didn't get it. Coming through again is Beeler. Gets it over. LaRoach from Hampshire. Directing traffic, takes out on the left wing. Cross court pass over. Babiak back. Coming through. LaRoach puts it up a little bit short. Rebound taken down by Rowe. Sami up ahead on the right side. Gets it open, three-point bomb right side, rims out, no good. Tipped around, comes down to Murray, who banks it home. Yeah, Murray was just camped on the baseline, right yeah. in his hands. It's funny, as, as high as he can jump, he, I don't think he really left his feet on he that didn't. putback. So now gets a steal in the paint. Off on the run, up ahead to Rowe. Sami, lefty lane is good. 31-21, lead is 10 now for the East. Tyler Martin dribbles through, jumper. Rabiak misses. Luella, nice no-look dish down low. Great passing. And the finish, Babiak. That broke a long run for the East. It's 31-23 in favor of the East. Rowe, left side, Poirier from South Hadley. He'll take a three, back rim, no good. Tipped around. Comes back down to LaRoche. Runs it up on the left side. Oh, tricky dribbles, fade away, Jay is short. Looks to get his own rebound, couldn't do so. 
All the way through, explosive speed. Ooh. The land, though, is no good. Put back, though, up and in. Good cleanup at the end there. Nate Poirier. Nate Poirier. 33-23, East leading by 10. LaRoche gives it up. Dipsy do drive <laughs> coming through. Babiak, no, but a foul. This Babiak kid's got some good moves. Oh, no, I beg your pardon. That was not Babiak who came through. Ah, that sorry. Was, that was Beeler. Beeler. B-I-H-L-E-R. First foul call against Fernando Maltoban of Ware. Beeler shooting two. First one is up, and it is good. I think Maltoban was a football player as well. I remember mm -hmm. that name from football season. West All-Stars won in the girls' game 66-60. to And we're just over a quarter of the way through the game. We're trending to get up near 100 for both of these teams. So we'll see how it plays out as we go along here. Murray, beyond the arc, throws on the left side to Poirier. Cross-court pass on the right. Adams, they dump it down low. Maltabon, cross-court pass back to Poirier. Poirier, shuffle pass to Murray. Murray fires from 18. Good. Inside out. That can do it all. 35-24. The lead is 11 for the East. And... <laughs> Beeler got a little bit too fancy for his own good. And now the pass picked off yeah, yeah, yeah. by Murray. He's going to throw it down. Oh, and he got it. <laughs> he nearly lost it on the way up. He's like, oh, it wasn't pretty, but we'll take it. <laughs> Double clutch. LaRoche for three. Good. That stems the tide for a moment. He didn't break the backboard. Let's, put, you know, <laughs> let's, let's be grateful about that. Well, I got here really early. Montalban's going to take a trade. Back rim, no. Murray got the rebound. Throws it back to Rowe on the wing. Rowe, top of the key. He'll launch. That would be good for two if it goes. It does not. Murray gets three, but goes right by the Roche. Reverse lay in. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's good. Another timeout on the floor. 7.46 to play here in the first half. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The East over the West. 39-27. Connor Joy, Connor Joy of Greenfield just got a putback off a miss. And that brought the West team back to within 10 at 39-20. And now the East misses on the other end. And they're now back on the attack. Kevin Mendez open, wide open for three. Good. Yeah, he shoots that three pretty well from the outside for a big man. And just like that, they were down by 12. Now they're down by five. Joyner. Hands the ball off. Bunnington has it. He takes an NBA three, and that shot is no good. Join of the tip follow, no. Mastello picks up the rebound. Now that pass on the left to Joy. Joy gets the ball up. Ben Lowe, pull up, pop right side. Frontier regional player misses. Tipped around, comes down to Mendez. Kevin in the paint hits. He's having quite a game. He really is. 39-34, so the East lead now down to five. Boddington, oh, loses it. Kind of took it right around his back. Took it up off his own backside. Josh Gorham, a little 360 move. Misses on the left side. He's made some nice moves, but he hasn't been able to get the ball to fall. Connor Joy lost it. Gets it back. Three-point bomb put up on the right side. Way off. And goes out of bounds. It'll go back to the east. That was uh, Barra who missed that shot. 6.08 to play here in the first half. 39-34. So, again, we are trending. Well, we'll definitely be in the 80s for sure unless these teams go ice cold. And we could challenge the 90s or maybe the 100s. Tion Brown for three. Yes. Three Nicely done by Tion. Brown. And he smacks the backside of Connor Joy from Greenfield as he heads back down court. Here comes Kevin Mendes. 360 in the paint. Off the window. Around the rim and out. Ben Lowe the putback. Ben yes. Good job by Ben to follow that play. 42-36. 6 point lead for the East. Tion Brown driving through, went for the bank, no good. Barra the rebound. Heads down court, takes it across the timeline left. Tried to thread the needle down low to Mastello, a little bit too low, it goes out of bounds, back to the East. Well, Tion will be out there. Uh, baseball practice, by the way, begins Monday. <laughs> so, 
I hope they bring their shovels. Yeah, you're going to be doing some work in the gym as usual. They get it down low, top of the key. Gorham fakes the three, drives through. Got Had it knocked out of bounds on the way up. It'll stay with the east. What position does he play? He's an infielder, and he's done a very little bit of pitching. Ah. And he also plays for Polk State 81 during the summer months. So he, he, he basically he's doing something athletically all year round, like a lot of these guys. Gorham actually got fouled on that, and he'll shoot two and makes the first free throw. He'll get one more. One more for Gorham. It's on the way. That one is short. Rebound, Mastello. Outlet pass on the right to Connor Joy. Comes up against Joyner. Crossover dribble. Nice look down low. Oh. Mara misses the bunny, though. He's frustrated. That was, should have been a make. Buddington from Amherst comes back. And poked from behind by Barra, so that's obviously a frustration foul there. Jeremy Thomas on the call as the official. Younger brother of Angelo Thomas. Wonder how... Uh, Angelo is doing. He was really hoping to be coaching those Hopkins boys on Springfield tomorrow. Didn't quite work out. Shot up and blocked a foul, though. Well, buddy, well it sounded like, from what I heard, the rebounding was the big issue in that game. Yeah, rebounding, and they had a lot of squandered offensive uh, possessions, a lot of shots down low that just didn't fall. Uh, second half, they were having a tough time getting the ball to Johnny Earl, and... John Morrison will be in, in this game next year along with Earl for sure. They'll be all-stars next year as seniors. Uh, yeah, John Morrison just, uh, even when he was open down low, couldn't get that ball to fall. A lot of, rim, a lot of balls just rimmed out. Just wasn't meant to be. But that Maynard team is... Well, they seem, to have, they seem to have Hopkins number. Oh, two yeah. In a row. This really, really good team. Kevin Mendez, rainbow three, back rim, no. Tipped out deep, battle for it. It comes down to the east. Mendez nearly came up with the strip. Loose ball picked up by Tion Brown. Tried to feed the paint, picked off though by Barra, heads down court. To the line, to the lane, left side pass, Ben Lowe went for the bank, too strong, comes to Mendez. Kevin, up in the air, goes strong, off the glass and in. Uh, he's making a bid for player of the game too. He really is, 44-38, the East lead is six. Here comes Joyner, left side it goes. Bleakley, Noah misses. Rebound taken down, Mastello. Connor Joy runs it up, picked up there by Brown. Goes out of bounds, nice D there by Tion Brown. And timeout on the floor, 4-0-1 to play here in the first half. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's the East 44 and the West 38. Playback on now. Mahar's Gabe Olari just hit for the East All-Stars. They're leading now back up to eight at 46-38. West back out there. Beeler, deep oh, three, man. top of the key, and he drained it. He was halfway to the circle on that one. Jacob wow. Beeler out of Hampshire. He's out there with uh, Matt Babiak and Greg LaRoche. So three Hampshire guys out there right now. And we've got two players uh, from Mahar right now. Montalban hits a three from the right Fernando. side. 49-41. Look at him smile as he heads it down court. They're guys, these guys are having a blast. Tucker Llewellyn comes back. Back rim, no. Rebound comes down. Long pass down court to Gabe Olari. Goes up off the glass, no good, but a foul, and he'll go to the line. No. Oh, yeah, we did. No, I think it was an offensive foul. Well, I don't know. Oh, traveling. Traveling. Traveling, traveling okay. according to Jeremy Thomas. Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. All right, 49-41. We have three minutes left here in the half. Our halftime report is coming up. We'll talk a little bit about that very entertaining girls game, which was close most of the way. Beeler's going to take a three. Misses off the side of the rim left. Gabe Olari comes back, gets it over. Montalban, another three, that and it gets wedged between the rim and the backboard, and Sloan Anderson goes up and bats it out. And 
It'll be Adams, Ivan Adams of Ware inbounding on the baseline. Gets it in. Olari for three, no good. Sloan Anderson, the rebound from Mohawk. Torsten, one of the finer pitchers. I can't imagine, he's 6'6", six, six, and he throws the heck out of the ball. I can't imagine being a right-handed batter and digging it against that kid. Yeah. On a cold April day, you kidding me? Yeah, no thank you. Let's get that Randy Johnson <laughs> size. Yeah, yeah. Shot is no good for the West. It goes out of bounds. 49-41 East with the ball. Colin Gould of Franklin Tech comes through, and he got hit as he came through. Foul called against the West. Colin Gould to the line for two shots. Colin Gould will be shooting a couple here. The scoring champion of Franklin County. Yep, well over 20 points per ball game. Kevin Mendez of Greenfield was second. Colin missed the first, he will get one more. And it is on the way, it is good. 50 to 41, nine point lead. Their biggest lead was 11, Tucker Llewellyn. Gives it up to Sloan Anderson, he's gonna take the three. Back rim no good, tipped around, comes down. Nice look down low, LaRoche put back, yes, no. Babiak banks it in. And they stuck with it, paid off. 50 to 43, West by seven, under two to play now here in the half, Montalban. Top of the key, Olari, dumps it down low, Bryce Cleveland gets partially blocked in the way up, Sloan Anderson the rebound over to Llewellyn. Tucker running it up, he's gonna take a three, good! He loves that three. Tucker Llewellyn knocks down the triple, 50 to 46, West now back to within four, a buck 30 to play here in the half. Gabe Olari. Working on Llewellyn, goes right by him. Nice dish to Cleveland. Bryce can't finish though. Rebound taken down by Tyler Martin. Or Babiak rather, Martin's on the bench right now. LaRoche has it on the left side. Comes through. Oh, tricky dribbles and hits the runner from the left side. Well Great done. play. Very nicely done. 50 to 48. <clears throat> it's a two point game. Shot no good and now the West can tie or take the lead. A big run here late. But instead, pass is picked off by Montalban. Gabe Bolari, the lefty dribble, takes across, gets a screen. Sealed off there. Montalban between the circles. Right side pass, fadeaway J. Ivan Adams in and out, no good. Rebound to Tucker Llewellyn, down to 42 seconds and a half. Tucker stops, pops for three, short. Rebound though comes down. Fadeaway J, right side, no good. Adams. Coming down, passes on the right side to Olari. Gabe, little spin move on the right side. Can't get the shot away though. 25 seconds left in the half, 22 on the shot clock. They have a two point lead right now. They work it around the horn. Colin Gould goes baseline, high above the rim, can't get the lay in. Comes to Sloan Anderson, shot clock off. 12 seconds left in the half. Sloan Anderson, right side to Llewellyn, goes baseline, gives it up in the paint, LaRoche. Puts it up, no good, tip follow, Babiak, no good. This should be a tie game right now. Batted down, one second left. Olari for three at the buzzer, no good. Halftime here, good no gymnasium in South Deerfield. At the All-Star game, our score, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the East 50 and the West 48. And we're at halftime here at Good Known Gymnasium in South Deerfield Frontier Regional. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, Dave Reno is our studio producer. The All-Star game, and back and forth we went. It looked for a while there, Chris, like the uh, East was definitely going to have the better of it. And I do think they have uh, probably an edge talent level with Murray and Rowe and some other guys. But, hey, give credit to the East guys. They came back strong. They only trailed by two at halftime. Yeah, it's, it's two different kinds of teams. I think that, you know, you've got kind of a flashier team on one side and the other side that's just good solid basketball players no real huge head toppers but guys that can get the ball done job done and can shoot the three like Llewellyn you know and a couple of the other guys the guy, the guy I like that I'm impressed with and we have we never got to see East Hampton usually during the season is Johnny Barra yeah he's the point guard usually when he's out there and he's so quick I mean he gets that ball up the floor in, in literally in seconds and that's a that's a good advantage if you want to run some fast break uh, basketball and and then, you know, I think this is going to be a competitive second half. It's anybody's game at this point. 50 to 48 in favor of the East. Of course, they've been uh, really spearheaded by Murray, who's been a, a tremendous show here so far. But on the other side, Kevin Mendez from Greenfield Heights had a very fine effort. 
And Torsten Sloan Anderson showing uh, some range on that jumper, yeah. which we which we knew. We we knew he had it, and you know, and, we, and Mendez too. Mendez uh, shot a three. I mean, it, it was, you know, these guys that we that are known quantities, guys that we know about. And it's one thing, but I'm really getting a lot of fun out of watching the guys we don't get to cover very often and see how they mix with our locals. It's a lot of fun. All right, 50 to 48 coming back after this timeout. The second half, the East leading by a bucket here at the All Star Game on Bear Country 95.3. All right, so we will see what fives that each team will send out there. The coaching staff, uh, Jim Matusko of Amherst and Matt Llewellyn of Franklin Tech, they're the coaches for the East team. And Ben Barshevsky working with Scott Thayer. Ben is, of course, the coach here at Frontier Regional and Scott Thayer up at Pioneer. And the guy who has electrified the crowd so far is Murray. He's on the bench to begin the second half. Rowe is out there. Again, a lot of people wondering uh, what's going to happen with Rowe next year. A lot of people feel like the best move for him would be a, a year as a post-grad at a prep school with, with a really strong basketball league so he can kind of improve his game against some really tough competition and then go play somewhere in college and he'll uh, he'll have some offers for sure. If, Already he gets, does. if he goes to UMass, does he get to wear his father's number because it's retired, <laughs> right? It is. <laughs> a miss, and now coming back, Kevin Mendez loses it in the lane out of bounds. It goes back to the east. They lead by two. Rowe is out there right now. Mendez, as you heard from Greenfield, yep. uh, now nearly a steal by Ben Lowe of Frontier. You always like to see the, the home team guy do something big. Rowe just missed that one, but offensive rebound. Here comes Colin Gould on the right side, rejected by Mendez. Ooh, they got him on a foul. I'm surprised there are more Frontier guys on this team because I know that there are more than, well, there's at least six or seven Frontier seniors this year. I'm not sure why more of them didn't sign up or didn't get chosen. But Yeah, they, well, there is a selection process. Ah, you not, you yeah, go. exactly. It's not, it is not come one, come all, necessarily. First free throw by Colin Gould, no good. He'll get one more. Well, I think Ben's a good choice. I mean, he had a good year for he Frontier. He did, yes. He's been, he was one of their better players. And, uh, yeah, get ready for a lot of people. You know, for years, Frontier was right near the top of uh, not only the Hampshire League, but their division in Western Mass. And now they have spent some time back of the line, middle of the line. But, you know, you cover them a lot, Chris. They're coming, they're coming strong. Well, they got a good young front court. And, uh, and they've got kids in the pipeline coming up. So they, yep. the, the future is bright for them. Every one of these programs goes through a period of renewal and change. And you're up and you're down for a couple of years. It's pretty common. Colin Gould for three, left side, yes. Three cool. points, Colin Gould. 54-48 in favor of the East. Well, not every program, Chris. I'll, well. I'll, I'll, I'll cite two, now a steal. And coming back all the way, Gould stripped on the way up out of bounds. They will keep it, will the East. Um, well, yes, you're right, in basketball, it, generally it's cyclical, but I, I would suggest Turner's Falls Girls Softball well, yeah. Frontier Girls Volleyball. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah they, don't, they, they don't rebuild, they reload. They don't spend time at the back of the line. No, I get it. No, they're, absolutely yeah. true. Oh, a very deep three. <laughs> wow, Jeez, way three. out there by the kid from South Hadley, and he drained it. That is Nate Poirier. Wow. 57-48. So this unit, and this is with Murray on the bench, they're kind of stretching out the seat. It's a 7-0 run to begin the half. Row for three. Good. It's a 10-0 row. 60 to 48. Well, and you can shoot threes like that. It's not, it's not that hard to go on a 10-0 run. Mendez comes through. Banks at home. He has been Mendez. solid. He really has. Noah Bleakley gets it up. Gould, rainbow three. No good. Low the rebound. Shuffle pass over on the left. To Tyler Martin, feeds it down. Try to get it over to Mendez. Picked off though, here comes Colin Gould back the other way and hits over oh, Tyler Martin. Oh. He is fun to watch. 62-50, so it's a 12-2 run to begin the second half to take it from a two point lead to a 10 point lead. Nice <laughs> reverse lay in, Mendez. Mendez. Wow, what a play by Mendez. He didn't think it was gonna go there, but he did. Rowe with an NBA three, in and out no good. Rebound, Mastello. Gets it over to Tyler Martin. Tyler into the teeth of the defense. All the way through. Banks it in and one. Got to love that. Martin switches hands in midair and lays it up and in off the glass. What a play. We will have our first 
second half timeout, radio timeout coming up again at, at the All-Star Games. For those of you listening to it, the All-Star Game for the first time, the coaches generally don't have to call timeouts. They may call a timeout late to get certain guys in, shooters or whatever. Free throw good, and now it's a seven-point lead. But the timeouts are strictly for Bear Country. As it should be in every game. And... Josh Gorham, uh, Zach Gorham hits, and uh, nice job there by Zach. Up almost everybody on this line has hit a three in this in this uh, session. Kevin Mendez, 360 <laughs> in the paint, and he hits again. Again, he I think he wants one more T-shirt. He's won yeah, a few yeah. in his time at GHS. Rowe, closely guarded by Rowe. Kicks it left side, stripped on the way up was Poirier, and a foul. Colin Gould. And uh, Colin Gould, rather, will go to the line. He'll be shooting two. First one is on the way, and it is good. He will get one more. West won the girls' all-star game 66-60 to as they came back from a 12-point deficit. And the Northampton player was the player of the game. 22 points for Lorraine Joensen. Free throw good. It's a 10 point game. 67 57 East. And we have a timeout coming up on the floor momentarily. Three point bomb right side by Mendez. No good. Loose ball on the floor. Tipped around. It is off of Ben Lowe. And the East will get it back. And they walk it across. On the right side, Colin Gould from just inside the arc. It rims out no good. Gorham the rebound. Poirier for three. Another D3. Jeez. That one's good as well. That is way outside. These kids are shooting the lights out. You should, you should have seen what Maynard was doing uh, back on Wednesday against Hopkins. What? Kevin Mendez hits again. He's really racking up the points. And he's going to get a steal. No. And unable to save it on the baseline. And are we going to take a timeout right here? I believe we will. Not quite yet. They're going to wait for one more stoppage of play here. 16 17 to play in the game. 70 to 59. Mendez, nice pass down low. Mastello off the glass. Yes. Shane and a timeout on the floor. 16 08 left to play in the basketball game. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The East 70 and the West 61. All right, Tion Brown just missed a three for the East a moment ago. Babiak got the rebound, and he has it right now. Left of the lane, turn, shoots, and around the rim and in. Matthew Babiak. Matthew Babiak from Hampshire Regional hits. 70 to 63. Here comes Murray. Lays it up and in. <laughs> yeah. Every time he touches the ball, you think, is he going to slam it? Is yeah. he going to slam it? I thought the Emerson Hurricane was going to throw that one down. Did not, however, that time. He threw it up on the right side. They get it down low. Torsten Sloan Anderson. Nice post move, and he banks Torsten. it up and in. Did I see those guys just start to press in that last defensive set? I, I thought I saw a three-quarter court press. Yeah, what's going on here? It's like a real basketball <laughs> game all <laughs> no. of a sudden. Shut up, no good. Rebound taken down. Loose ball on the floor, out of bounds. We're going the other way. Beeler could not quite corral it. And they will inbound right off to our right. Poirier's been red hot here in the early part of the second half. Inbounds it. Buddington, rainbow three, short. Comes down to Barra, runs it up on the right, loses it to Murray momentarily, but gets it back. They are pressing a little bit. They go down low, Babiak hits from the left block Babiak. for the bank shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Up ahead to Murray, yeah. Tadak jam! He got way up there and threw it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Man, he got, he got up there. And now he's going to come up with this one. No. Yes, he did get the steal <laughs> from Torsten. Nice dish down low and the lay-in by Joyner. They're pressing. I can't believe it. Mara runs it up. He's being <laughs> double teamed. They're pressing everywhere. It's time to win the game, I guess. They get it down low, though. And they get it back on the left side. LaRoche, he's going to take a three. He's going to be short. 
One thing we've never seen is a full court press in this game, I don't think. Deion Brown up ahead, and another slam by Murray. Now it's just getting boring. Yeah. <laughs> he's, I just give him the t-shirt now, just for the dunks. <laughs> Tipped out of bounds. It's 78-67, so they're up by 11 again. <laughs> yeah, he's on, he's on a different level. No question. LaRoche throws on the right side, Barra. Shuffle pass. Three-point bomb right side. Up no good. Battle for the rebound. Barra in the paint. He got it batted away, and it goes off of him out of bounds. I, yeah, these East guys are playing some serious defense right now. They're not just letting them score. Did you see how Barra, he, he leapt through the lane. I think he took one step and jumped like 15 feet, it looked like. Poirier. Foul line left. Shuffle pass. Buddington. He's going to take a tray. That's no good. Tip follow. Yes. Good job by Poirier. He's had a big second half. Caught that in midair and just shot it one time. Lead is 13, biggest of the night for the East. Torsten Sloan Anderson fakes the 19 footer, swoops Drew, misses it, gets his own rebound, banks it home. Good job to stay with that by Torsten. 80 to 69, Buddington back from Amherst to the line, to the lane, back all the Come way on. through Murray, the lay in no good. He'd have even more points if he missed, he's missed two or three lay ins. At least one dunk, I think he missed. Yeah. Nice pass down low and reverse lay in. Beeler, yes. <laughs> Beeler hits. So that gets him back now. I've seen a bit of everything in this game in terms of uh, showtime moves. 80 to 71. The lead is nine for the East. Joyner in the paint. His good job, good job. Joyner. Bank shot is up and good. Nice shot there by Tayshawn. It's 82 71. Lead back to 11. Yeah, they're pressing. They are pressing it. in the backcourt. <laughs> High pass. Nice job by LaRoche to bring it down. Cross-court pass on the right side. Tipped away to Sloan Anderson. Torsen has it there. Throws right side. Three-pointer is up no good. Tipped around. Tion had it for a moment. Comes away. Long pass to Murray underneath. Lays it up and in. That's almost too easy. If, if he gets that down the floor ahead of everybody, there's no stopping him. It's 84-71. They're going to they're gonna get well over 100. Sloan Anderson and Tian <laughs> Brown comes Anderson. back. He's a foot shorter than Torsten. He came back to defend. I give Tian a lot of credit. He tried. He was not going to stop Torsten, though. Coming back, and Joyner misses down low. Yeah, some of these guys are gassed. They are gassed. Barra fakes the pass, lays it in. Oh, no, he missed it. Below the rebound to LaRoche. Oh, Barra is frustrated. He should have had that. LaRoche throws up the runner. No. Rebound comes down to Poirier. Over to Murray. All the way through. Slams it home. <laughs> Timeout on the floor. 11.46 to play in regulation. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The East 86. The West 73. All right, we are back here at Goodno Gymnasium, and the West on the attack, and Tucker Llewellyn got it down low and ended up getting it batted away, and he got fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots here. His team trails by 13 points. Tucker's first free throw is no good. A little short with that one. He'll get one more. Sad part of this game, Chris, is that we're seeing guys that we cover all winter long for several winters in a row, seeing them play for the last time. I mean, the new guys come up, but... Some of these guys, you just, you're never going to forget them. Here's one of them. Rowe, reverse lay-in, banks it in. Yeah, he is a special player. I mean, no way, no two ways about it. Tucker Llewellyn to the line, to the lane. Lefty shot up, no good. Went for the bank. Bryce Cleveland the rebound. Got it to Rowe. Samir Rowe throws it up on the left side. Coming all the way through Adams. Power move from where high, and he banked it in. All right, they've hit 90, so with 10.57 to play G, will they hit 100? <laughs> yeah. I think both teams are in good shape. Uh, the West just hit. Tyler Martin for three. Makes it 90 to 77. Yeah, I think both these teams are going to get well over 100. This might be the first time we've had a coach coaching against his brother. Matt oh, the, well, that's for right. Franklin Tech is coaching against Tucker, who's playing for the West team. There's oh, a bit of trivia there. A little weird. Connor Joy gets it over on the left side, jump pass, Tyler Martin. Gets it back to Tucker. Tucker, shuffle back. Ben Lowe's going to take a three from Frontier, no good. Offensive rebound. They get it down to Tyler Martin, a little wraparound pass to get it back to Llewellyn. 
on the right side. Shuffle pass back. Connor Joyce taking a three. It is no good. Montalban the rebound. Outlet pass on the left to Gabe Olari, who looked good in that first half. Hasn't played, though, in a while. Knocking off a little bit of rust. Comes all the way through. Dipsy do drive. It's up and in. Good job by Gabe. 92-77. So the 100-point watch is on. The runner up and no good from the left side. Rowe kicks it left side to Adams. He'll take a three. No, nope, foot on the ground. Uh, foot on the line, rather. Tipped away, out of bounds. We're going to go back to the west. 92-77 with 9.45 to play. Well, when the question comes about the idea of going to 100, I think in the words of the late Ace Kelly, oh, there's no question. <laughs> We're going to 100 on one side of the ball anyway. Yep. There is no question. Tucker Llewellyn gets it back. T. Mart for three. No good. Olari the rebound. All right, now I'd like to see the East get it down to the big guy, Cleveland, because he's been... Mu oh, Samir Rowe instead is going to take an NBA three. It rimmed out on him. No good. Here comes Martin back. Loses it. Ends up in the hands of Samir Rowe. Gets it back. After the tip away, 360 in the paint, puts it up, no, but a foul called down low. Yeah, a little showtime there from Sami. Couldn't get the shot to fall, but he'll get a couple of foul shots here. 92-77 is our score here. Rowe shooting two. First one is up, and it is good. So I'm not sure. Um, I, I certainly don't like singling out players um, necessarily. But as we say, we're seeing these, these young men and earlier tonight, the young women playing for a final time here. Yeah, I'll complete that thought in a minute. Here comes Connor Joy into the paint. Tries the lay-in, no good. Rebound comes down to Adams, heads down court. Left side pass to Olari. Had it, lost it, out of bounds. Back to the east. Well, you mentioned a lot of these players, like guys like Connor Joy, have been playing since he was a freshman. I mean, yep. he's, you've watched these guys for multiple years. You've seen them progress. I remember watching Tian when he was on JV and thinking, that kid's going to be a player. Well, I'm glad you brought him up because that was the young man I was just going to mention. Martin. Tyler Martin with a lay-in. We're going to have a radio timeout here in a moment. But I would say in, in 30 years of uh, covering local sports here in Franklin County, he is definitely in my top two or three. Montalban, another three. In terms of on-court or on-field leaders, he is right near the top of the list, unquestionably. Uh, he's just one of those guys where you, you're just glad when he's on your team. And one of the great pressure players uh, in the history of that program. Three-pointer put up by Rowe. No good. It was contested. We have a timeout coming up here in a moment. But first, Tucker Llewellyn, he'll pull back. He'll take an open three. No good. Low runs down the weak side rebound. Has it. Pulls it back. He'll take a three over row. <laughs> it's good. Low over row for three. Timeout. Low over row. 7.55 to play in the game. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is the East 97, the West 82. All right, so it is a 15-point lead for Team East, and they get it down to Bryce Cleveland, which is what I've been wanting them to do. Bryce couldn't quite finish on that little baby hook, though. And Go! A mid-court shot Whoa. put up. No good. <laughs> Comes down to Mendez. He'll take a three, and that was good. Who threw that up there? He almost made that shot. Oh, it was, it was Hessian from uh, Smith Academy. Three-point bomb on the right side. No good. Put back up and in. Colin Gould. Colin Gould, and that's 99 points now. So they're one away from 100 with 7.15 to play. So they're going to finish with about a buck 10 probably, or 115. Here they go. They can cross 100 right here. Gould, for a century mark, and he hits 101.85. I don't know what it is, Chris. I just I get really excited to see that tri triple digit score. Mastello puts up a three. Good. You don't, often, you don't often see it in high school basketball. That's the thing. Yeah. And now we are playing 40 minute, uh, 40 minute game here, and Gorham lost it after Mastello's three. So it's 101.88. We'll have another. Radio timeout at the four-minute mark. And then uh, we'll see who's on the court to finish it off. For the East, I have an idea who will be on the court. Yeah, me too. To finish the job. That would be Mr. Murray. Well, I would be surprised to see Murray, Tion, and Simi out there together. They go down low, Mastello, <laughs> and he got blocked by Gorham. Zach 
commits the foul and Mastello to the line. Shane to the line. And Shane will get two. Now you were mentioning Tion Brown earlier and uh, we talked about what a pressure player he was. I mean, that, that win in the Super Bowl and of course, but you think about what's gone on this year with all the pressure regarding the Indian mascot and how he was vilified on social media by some people uh, after what happened on Thanksgiving Day. And the kid didn't blink an eye. And he's one of the great interviews, too, by the way, mm. in terms of kids that you're ever going to hear. I mean, very, very poised kid. 101-90. Blakely for three. No good. Now sell the rebound. This game's not over, by the way. Yeah, I know. So Torsten Sloan Anderson's going to come it. through. Oh, couldn't quite get the lay in. Blakely up ahead. Poirier's been good here in the second half. He'll lay it up and in. 103 to 90 with 6.10 to play. East cruising at this point oh. and through the legs obliquely out of bounds. Uh, Hessian, rather. That was a good pass, too. Just a little too low for Hessian to handle. So the East will try to extend on their lead. Zach Gorham goes on the right side, oh. picked off. It's coming our way. Out of bounds. Which way are we going, Jeremy? We're going to the right. All right. Gorham throws in to Noah Bleakley. Top of the key. And they left him open. He says, I'll take the shot. It's I'll right. make it. He was looking to pass, and they, they totally sagged on him. 105-90. Lead 15. Mastello, nice 360 move. move. No good. His putback follow is in. Good job by Mastello to follow that play with a great spin move. 105-92 in favor of the East. Five and a half to play in the game. We have one more radio timeout coming up in about a minute and a half. And Bleakley misses a three. Bryce Cleveland blocked though by Mendez, who if the West somehow won, would be a strong candidate for player of the game. Mendez has it right now. He takes it in, to the line, to the lane, all the way through, finger roll, no good. Mastello tried the putback, got the rebound. He's gonna take a three. Back rim no good. Bryce Cleveland gets the board. Up ahead on the right to Colin Gould. Colin stops, pops for three. No. Tip down low. Poirier banks it up. No good. Mendez has a lid on that bucket down there right now. Here comes Kevin all the way through again. He'll lay it up too strong. No good. Mastello, the rebound. Underneath, tipped out of bounds. They'll keep it. 4.46 to play, but they trail by 13 points. 105.92. Mastello wanted to dish it to uh, Mendez there, and it got... Oh, he got fouled, so okay. I thought that it went out of bounds, but it was, in fact, a foul. So Mendez will be shooting two off to our left. First one is up, and it is no good. He'll get one more. Not sure why he's shooting, because it was in the act of passing. But yeah. Well, you know. Second one is up, and back rim no good. Missed them both, but Mendez gets the rebound. Fade away, shot is short. Put back, Mastello Shane finally had to, had to work really hard for two points there. Yeah, he got him, though. And they come back. Poirier's going to take a three. three good. 108-94. So now we just need the West to get over 100, and they're six points away. Mendez all the way through. Off the glass and in. How many players that extend that well when he, when he does that, that little layup? Poirier for three again. That shot is no good. Comes down to Colin Gould. Colin's going to jack a three left side. That's off the back iron. No good. Mendez the rebound. He will run. Oh, he's got a head of steam. He's going to come all the way through. Finger roll lay in is good again. And a timeout on the floor. Four minutes and two seconds left to play in regulation at the boys' all-star game. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the East 108 and the West 98. I love watching that kid play. Oh, Mikel Murray just got a little alley-oop, and he was in the air and just kind of flung it up there to fell. Very skilled uh, athlete. Now a pass stolen by Samir Rowe, and uh, what do we got? It's out of bounds. It'll go to the east. Well, this is the original starting five for the east, by the way. Yep. It's out there, and, and uh, they did very well in that first four minutes, and I'm sure they'll do very well to finish up here. Tian Brown puts up a three, no good. Gets his own rebound over left side, Buddington. He'll peel back, step back three, bang. Good. He's had a tough night from three-point line. Good to see him make one. 113-98. Down and a lay-in. Put up and low by Baviak of Hampshire Regional. And they've hit 100 now. So both teams 
Over a century mark. Buddington, left side, yes. Yeah, that's a little dish off of the baseline. 115 to 100. They're pressing again. <laughs> Beeler, left side. They pull it back. Well, LaRoche had a three, gave it up. Babiak has it. Gets it down low. Beeler fades. Jumper went for the bank, no good. Down low, alley-oop to Murray for the slam! <laughs> oh, he is oh. fun to watch. This, this, uh, this has been the best All-Star game we've done, Chris. I agree. This I think has this been, has been incredibly this entertaining, is, this both is, sides, yes. girls and boys. This has been the best. Ball out of bounds off the, uh, off the west. East is going to win it going away, but man, oh man, we've... Now it's gonna. Now it's Joyner's turn. Oh, well, he gave up the three. Buddington back to Joyner. They're, they're, they're doing something. They're gonna set him up. Wow. Oh, and Joyner with a nice drive, and he banked it in. One nineteen to one hundred. This has to be the highest scoring one we've had in history. Till Buddington with a steal. Now they're just pouring it on. Oh, beautiful give. Buddington hits in the paint. Yeah, one twenty-one one hundred. Look at the Murray. Murray. All the way through, <laughs> slams it home. <laughs> Murray's got off here. Just oh. give the t-shirt. Just give it to him. Just throw it at him. Woo! That One, kid is awesome. 123 to 100. In a 40-minute game, folks. Oh, oh, LaRoche! Oh, LaRoche with a fake pass and then knocked down the jumper. <laughs> and the, look at the crowd. Everybody is smiling here. Showtime. Minute 35 left. 123 to 102. Joiner, lay in. Yes. Uh, he's got great quicks, too. 125 to 102. I can't believe they're gonna, they've scored over 120 points. Amiro. Oh. Down low. Give it a oh. go. Oh. He missed the jam that time. <laughs> <laughs> All the way through. Oh, they're doing showtime now. A nice <laughs> pass behind the back. Babiak. And down to Murray. Passes out. Ba oh, the crowd's disappointed. They wanted to throw it down. Samiro for three. Got it. <laughs> Minute left to play. 128 to 104. Think about that, folks. A 40-minute game. They've scored 128. I know it's an all-star game, and the usual rules don't apply. But still, that is ridiculous. They miss from the left side, offensive rebound by Beeler. They got him for a double dribble with 41.3 seconds left. I think we save for one more dunk. <laughs> and I then have, we I end the to, season on that. I have to get ready to uh, deliver a t-shirt to a certain someone. Joiner with a nice lane from the right side. I wonder side. who will get it. 130 to 104, tipped away. Buddington has it. He's gonna stop. He'll pop for three, short. Row the rebound. He'll pull it back. He'll take an NBA three. He'll make an NBA three. 133 to 104. This game was close most of the way, I gotta tell you, but man. LaRoche with a deep three. No. Comes down. They'll take another three. That one is no good. Comes down yes. to row. Here's the exclamation point. Oh, windmill! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, windmill slam at the buzzer. And that puts the capper on it, 135 to 104. That was awesome, just flat out awesome. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have the Outstanding Player Award. Gee, I wonder who that is. We'll do that when we come back on Bear Country 95.3. All right, welcome to the Hell on a Chemical postgame show here on Bear Country 95.3. Final score, final scores, we should say, yeah. the girls' all-star game, the West team, 66, and the East, 60. Final score of the boys', boys game, the East, 135. In the West, 104. Chris Collins, what, what did we just see? We just saw a pretty awesome basketball <laughs> game. It's pretty rare to score 104 points and still lose by 31. But that was just an exhibition of great basketball and a lot of fun on both sides of the ball. And the thing I loved about it was you had all kinds of different players doing all kinds of different things. Lots of threes, lots of dunks, some you know reverse lay-ins, you know, some no-look passes, some fake passes, just everything you could possibly want in a basketball game. It was a pleasure to watch. 
And congratulations, the players of the game, uh, the most outstanding players as they call them. Uh, for the losing team, the uh, West team, Kevin Mendez of Greenfield had a phenomenal night, 28 points. Uh, any other night, he's uh, hell on a chemical player of the game, but uh, not tonight. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Not tonight. That was not going to happen with uh, the amazing performance of Mikhail Murray of Amherst uh, with 35 points and a windmill dunk to put the exclamation point, the cherry on top of that banana split of a basketball game. It was almost like they were making up because, you know, for past years we didn't see a lot of dunks and then tonight they were just <laughs> all over the place. All over the place, yeah. They must have known that we wanted to see some slams and... That kid Murray is flat out amazing, and uh, it, again, it's a chance to see a guy we would normally not have a game with on the radio, and uh, it's fantastic. It was just a, a lot of a lot of fun, and it's always a blast to be part of this event, and it's for a great cause. So I'm thrilled. Yep, they raised a lot of money. Huge crowd here, so they raised a lot of money for their scholarship fund. So nice job by the officials, and again, congratulations to Greenfield High School winning the Sportsmanship Award. And, of course, Gary Stacy, winner of the Tom Cove Memorial Award. And, Gary, wish you all the best as uh, you uh, return to health very, very soon. And we will see you very soon, Gary Stacy. All right, we're going to wrap things up here. The high school basketball season is over, Chris. It goes by way too fast, but what a wonderful season we saw. Great team and individual performances, and the, the, the capper was here tonight at Frontier Regional. Yeah, and, and a lot of things happened this year that were really great. You know, as we, and it's tough to say goodbye to these seniors, but we'll always remember the uh, the Tion Brown, Samiro matchup. Those three awesome games. I mean, Hopkins and Turner's. Those programs have very bright futures. Uh, Frontier is coming back. Pioneer is coming back under Scotty Thayer. Uh, Mohawk is going to, I think, see some better days. Although they've had a couple of down years, but this year they're much more competitive. And uh, on the girls' side, you know, Turner's is strong. Pioneer is always a strong program. Uh, Greenfield, I mean, even though they went out in the first round, I mean, the future is very bright for them. A lot of great talent in this area, and uh, we're lucky to be able to do this every winter, and uh, you and I and Bobby made a good troika, uh, and it's always a lot of fun to just be able to come out and watch these kids progress and become the ball players and human beings they've become. And we take a breath, and then practice for spring sports begins on Monday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there you go. Bring your snowshoes. It never ends. Hey, if you want to get involved in this, uh, people listening, if you are interested in becoming part of uh, uh, the board officials, uh, enter their training program and, uh, and be out here and be involved in uh, just a really great endeavor working, uh, a great endeavor working with young people, contact Mike Churchill, the Secretary Treasurer of the IAABO Board 28 of Hampshire and Franklin Counties. His email is mchurchill at IAABO28.org, M. Churchill at IAABO28.org, and he can, uh, he can get you in the right direction, and you could be out here uh, as an official in high school basketball in Hampshire and Franklin counties. All right, our final scores for the final time tonight here at the All-Star Games at Frontier Regional and the Girls All-Star Game, the West 66, the East 60, and in the Boys All-Star Game, the East 135 and the West 104. For Chris Collins and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us all season long on high school basketball here on Bear Country, and have a great weekend in Bear Country, everyone.